Hello everyone and welcome to your third online trombone lesson. We got a lot done in our lessons today and I'm looking forward to working with you online uh, as you practice throughout the week. So we're gonna need a bunch of different things. We will need our uh, trombone. We're gonna put the whole thing together and play. We will need our trombone third lesson sheet. Um, you will need the first rhythm page that you got in your uh, folder at our lesson this week. You will also need your red book that says Standard of Excellence, and we are going to be on page six of that, but we will worry about that later. Um, so number one on our third lesson sheet says getting ready. So we're going to put our trombone together, but do not attach the mouthpiece. So quick reminder, the way that you want to do that is to pick up your slide first, and before anything else, make sure your slide is locked. You know, I'm gonna say that forever. Um, and then you can put it on its end. I usually like to have it going straight uh, across, and I usually like to have the mouthpiece going, which is the smaller one, right? That's the smaller of the two uh, poles. I usually, uh, usually like to have that pointing to the right. So then it's just sitting here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bell of the trombone. And we wanna make that look like a big L. So you're gonna attach the trombone going straight out in front of you, the bell of the trombone, tighten it up, and then you should see an L, or maybe like half a square, something like that. So anyways, whatever you want uh, to think of it as, as long as you see that angle, that right angle, you are set. And then you're gonna take that and just kinda of leave it off to the side somewhere. We won't need it for now. Uh, we're gonna pick it up in a second, but we're gonna start our warm ups with our mouthpiece only. Now before I move on, um, I would like to make sure that we know that we're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes, okay? So that is the time that we are aiming for as our goal every time we practice. If it's less than 10 minutes, it's not really gonna help you get better. If you go more than 10 minutes, that's fantastic, good for you, and always you're welcome to practice more. But um, for our purposes, we need to be practicing at least 10 minutes. So it won't count if you are at nine or less, okay? So make sure that you set a timer for 10 minutes and see if you can get through this sheet. <clears throat> All right, we have our mouthpiece. We're looking at number two, warm-ups. It says play long notes on your mouthpiece. Let's start that. Ready, set, go. Mm -hmm. Nice job. Think to yourself, was I buzzing a... Uh, a fast buzz or a slow buzz? Was I playing a higher note or a lower note? No, on this one I want you to try and uh, do the opposite of what you just did. My buzz was a little faster, so I'm gonna slow down my buzz for a lower note on this one. Ready, set, go. Mm -hmm. Nice job. All right, let's buzz some sirens. And also, I didn't say this before, but I'm sure we know this by now, we're not going to be puffing our cheeks as best we can, okay? Remember that, and if you need to look in a mirror, feel free to do that too. All right, let's buzz some sirens, low to high. Let's do three in a row, ready, set, go. Very nice. Let's go ahead and do a, a, a couple more sirens, and this time let's challenge ourselves to go really fast. All right, let's see if we can do it. Ready, set, go. All right, so that's something to practice. If you're finding that you're getting a lot better at the sirens and looking for a challenge, try and speed them up, all right? All right, let's tongue some ta and TT patterns. You can go ahead and repeat after me. One, two, here I go. Go, ta, ta, ta. Good, my turn here, all right, go. Go, ta, ta, good, next one, here, all right, go. Go, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, and final one for me, here we go. Ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. All right, fantastic, so let's go ahead and turn to our first rhythm page in your folder. And we're going to play through numbers one, number three, and number six with tonguing. Remember, we're hitting the back of our teeth with our tongue every time we start. I know, okay? So this first one, number one, I see four tas, four quarter notes in a row. And then I see a, a whole rest, which means that we rest for four beats. So one, two, three, four of rest. So we have four beats of playing, four beats of rest, and then we do it all over again. All right, let's use our tongue. One, 
two, ready, go. Rest, rest, rest again. Rest, rest, and we're done. All right, nice job. Let's take a look at number three now. How many do you count of Taz in a row? Good if you said three, we have ta, 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 rest, ta, and we do all that, okay? Let's give that a shot. One, two, here we go. Last one. Rest, awesome job. You may have noticed on that one that I'm using the rest as a time to breathe and to uh, get some more air in my lungs, and that's always a great idea. If you see a rest after a long time playing, use that rest to not only make sure you're not playing, but also to refill. Uh, the air in your lungs, all right? Number six is our final one. Let's take a look at that one. So I see ta, ta, rest, rest as our pattern. All right, let's give that one a try. And one, two, ready, go. Last one, rest. Nice job. Okay, so that was a great little warm up and my lips are feeling nice and tingly. Hopefully yours are too. We're gonna go ahead and open our book now. So go ahead and take that out. And we are gonna be like it says on page six. Before we do anything, we're gonna review the slide positions. So you can go ahead and grab your trombone really quickly. Remember, if you stand it up, your mouthpiece should be going, mine looks like it's going towards the left on yours, but for me, it's going towards the right. Remember, you just put in your mouthpiece, twist once, and it should be good to go. Remember how to hold this. Your thumb on your left hand goes all the way down towards the bell on this uh, bracket right here. The rest of your fingers go through this square. Remember, if you're trying to be like a professional trombone player, your hand feels good and you can put your finger up here, your pointer finger, that's awesome. If that doesn't feel great for you right now, you can leave all your fingers in here. And then quickly remember that for our right hand, what we need to do is we need to use our thumb and pointer middle finger. So it kind of looks like this when we're using the slide. My slide is locked, of course, but if I were to unlock it, that is what my hands would look like as the slides moved. Okay, there we go. All right, I am gonna unlock my slide position now. Remember that so that when you pick it up, it doesn't go flying, okay? All right, so we're gonna review the slide positions for D, C, and B flat. So if you look at your second lesson sheet, or you remember, um, our D is in fourth position, our C is in sixth position, and our B flat is in first position. So let's quickly go ahead and check our fourth position. So remember that is when your slide goes just past your bell. It is not super far past, but not, um, beyond it like this, okay? So here's our fourth position, that's D. Show me what sixth position looks like. That's when your arm is straight out in front of you. And then first position is kind of like the opposite of that. Your arm is all the way in and the slide is all the way in. So that's D fourth, C sixth, B flat first. And notice how I'm using my thumb and two fingers to hold this, okay? All right, let's play number one, two, and four in our book. Uh, for review, we're gonna tongue each note. So number one is the note D, which is fourth position. So we have four whole notes and then four rests. So it's, the pattern is whole note, so hold it for one, two, three, four, then rest, two, three, four. Okay, let's go ahead and get that uh, ready. So we're gonna get our slide into fourth position. Your D should sound like this. Play this with me. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> match. If you are too high, remember what you have to do. Slow down your buzz a little bit and loosen your um, lo loosen your lips. If you are too low, you got to tighten up a little bit and buzz a little faster. Okay? Let's play this number one. Time for band. One, two, uh, one, two, ready, go. Rest, rest, do it again. Big breath, ready, go. One, two, last one, go. One, two, and we're done. Good, if you're gonna put your trombone down, lock the slide. There you go, get in that habit.
All right, so number two is the same exact thing, except you're gonna be playing on C, which is sixth position. I'm not gonna play that one on the video, so you should pause the video and play that one. Um, the same thing with number four, except it's a B flat, and that's, sorry, all the way in right here, okay? So we're gonna look at number three right now, which says whole lot of counting. Um, and notice how we're gonna say the notes and do the slide for number three, but then we're gonna play it. So if you notice it says whole lot of counting, the notes change, and that's really important. <clears throat> so let's do the slides. I'm gonna unlock. We're starting on the note D, which is here. Let's say the notes and do the slides. One, two, ready, go. D, move your slide, the next one is C. Move your slide, the next one is D. One, two, the last note is C. And that's it, okay? So let's give that a try. We have to move back and forth from D to C. Here we go, start on a D, one, two, ready, go. Move your slide, take a breath, ready, go. So now it says say the notes out loud and do the slide positions for number five, six, seven, and then play them. So I'll just do one of those. I'm going to go with number six that says melting pot. So we're going to do the slides. You're going to notice we're going to use all three of our notes in this song. So make sure you pay attention to which one is which. And let's do the slides first. So the first note is C, the one on the space. That is a C. So let's move our slide all the way out. Here we go. One, two, say the note C. One, two, move your slide. The next note is B flat. One, two, next note is D. One, two, the last note is C. And we're done. All right, so let's try that now together on a C to start. Number six, here we go. All the way out for the slide. One, two, ready, go. One, two, move your slide and go. One, two, next note is One, two, the last note is One, two, and we're done. Nice job. So um, your job is to do as many of those as you can in the 10 minutes. So our timer is just about up for 10 minutes. Um, and then I can move on to the fun song, Hot Cross Buns. We're gonna try playing hot cross buns again, but you must tongue each note. So let's go ahead, you'll notice hot cross buns is written on the bottom, all the letters that you need for that. I'm gonna go ahead and play that. I'm gonna do it just a little bit slower um, than we've been playing here in terms of counting because we're moving a lot. So it's really important that we're doing that correctly. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that right now. And if you can keep up with me, fantastic. Let's give it a best shot. And one, two, ready, go. Uh... continue to play you're gonna kind of smooth out how to play in between while moving that slide we'll work on that all year long I promise so when we write down a little bit different this week for writing down your minutes um, so we're going to instead write down the name of the day Monday Tuesday Wednesday whatever day you practice write it on the top part of your chart and then write your minutes down remember if it's less than 10 minutes it does not count you cannot write it down 10 minutes more than 10 minutes write those down make sure a family member signs that sheet for me and brings it back okay I am looking forward to seeing you at our next lesson happy practicing this week bye